Hello everybody, welcome back to another mid-journey tutorial. In this one, I want to show you a mid-journey prompt tool. I believe this is one of the best prompt helpers or prompt tools. It's called Noonshot, and if you want, you can go to the website. I'll put a link in the description below. It's prompt.noonshot.com. And here's what it is. It's a free prompt helper. So basically, if you're thinking about you want to create something, but you don't want to go through like a reference list like this, like I have a link, I'll link this as well. This is a reference list and it's all these different artists, all these different styles, and it's great, but it's kind of, you know, it loads slowly and it's kind of hard to see it all at once. Well, look at this. Let's just say you want to, let's say we want to create a prompt about, um, I don't know, three dogs uh, reading, uh, let's just go a dog reading a book, whatever, something silly like that. You can just copy the prompt and we can go right into Discord and right into the bot and Command V and drop that in there and I'll run it. But here's the thing, here's where this tool gets really, really good. You can now go ahead and look at all the different things that you can do to it. So if I want to change the style, right now we're using the default style, but if I want it to be, you know, uh, an 8-bit like it's an old school Nintendo game or if I want it to be blocky and chunky or... I mean, there's all of these different styles here, and the reason why this is great is because it gives you a visual cue as to what it could look like or what it's kind of drawing from. So you don't have to flip through that reference list. You can go through it here. So let's say I want to go with something like, I don't know, what would be a cool, what's a cool looking style that's a little out of the way? Let's go with hell, okay? We've got hell style. Also, it's got text weights or prompt weights. So you can go ahead and add the the weighting to this. If you really want hell to be, you know, salient, you can add, you can increase the weight if you want it to be less of a thing you can decrease it I'm just gonna go with that for the heck of it uh, you can go and click and you can just work your way through it lighting right now it's got standard lighting but if I wanted it to have let's say I don't know something like a electric arc I mean electric arcs no let's go with something like dusk it's dark and it's kind of yeah and it's hot down where we're going okay so we've got all right so we've got dog reading a book with different lighting you can change the camera angles so if you wanted to go with like a panorama versus a dslr versus you know pinhole camera creepy 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 etc etc wide angle lens all of these are visual cues here that you could just go ahead and click on and if you decide that you like it like let's say i want this to be you know we're what are we doing some sort of reddish color so let's go i want neon red color i just click on it it adds it automatically and it just adds it to the prompt this is why it's so fantastic couple other things here it's got artists so if you have a particular artist in mind instead of having to type out forward slash in the style of Leonardo da Vinci you can just click this button it will add it to the prompt so I don't know let's see I don't know maybe we want to run it with you know which one of these would be really cool let's go with Dolly sure we'll put Dolly in here so we're just making this crazy long prompt here but we're just customizing it as we go across if you want it to be made out of different types of materials like let's say you want it to be fabric or carbon fiber you can just keep adding it a couple other things is you can adjust the quality so if you want it to be super detailed it does use a little bit more resources takes a little longer but you can click on that and you can also click on stylize so you can have like you know really stylized with giving the program lots of latitude versus none and also size so there is an aspect ratio option here so if you want to go square vertical or standard tv film do note that um it does not appear to have 16.9 which or 916 for vertical uh so it's not quite perfect but it's still pretty good and what you do here is once you've got something like this you take the prompt and then you just go over to Discord, you copy the prompt in, you hit enter, and you see what you get. Uh, here's the one I ran earlier with just standard dog reading a book. And this is actually really good, if I'm being honest. Like, this is great. Midjourney does a great job without any adjustments, just putting in a prompt. But here, let's see what we get here when we added in all of this stuff. So what do we got? We've got dog reading a book in hell with electric arc lighting. It's dark at dusk. It's Salvador Dali style. We've got a neon red color palette. I mean, yeah, we went over the top a little bit with this, but let's see what we get, right? We're going to probably get some pretty interesting results. So here we are at 93%. Yep. Okay, good. Let's just click on it. It's done. Presto. I mean, look at this. We got this neon arc red dog dolly like these are really cool pieces of art they may not be exactly what you're looking for but you can of course run variations on them iterations on them and you guys can dial in the prompts that you want in mid journey i hope this tool helps you guys out i got a ton more stuff coming up stay tuned